um, around my car seat headrest. The first, there's this, there's this intro riff going on, and um, you're using the B and E strings, kind of in a similar way to um, the drum, uh, where you're doing this. You're only really, um, you're only using the frets on the B string. You're leaving uh, the E string open when you're doing this. So this riff in the intro is, um, it sounds like... Or something roughly similar to that. So what we have there is there's... Uh, five, six, So it kind of sounds, maybe not 3-4, but some kind of mixed thing like that. You're only doing um, this first bit. Um, so, on that 5, you're doing... And then so um, that might be it inaccurate, maybe listen to the song. I'm not sure. Um, that's how I've always played it, though. That's what I think sounds good. Um, after that, you hear this thick distorted guitar uh... i might try to make it distorted i'm not sure i have to like be very careful with this uh... hopefully that's not too good i don't know so you have this distorted guitar part going on What that is, is, it's mostly power chords. It's very mainly power chords. So, this first pattern is... I think that might be 3-4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, F uh, A power chord, which I am doing on the third fret instead of up here, because it sounds much thicker right here than the and then the E power chord. We're doing that twice. And then F power chord. G power chord. Then you're switching strings. You're going to the A string and doing a power chord going from the A to the D string. So you're doing a B power chord here on the second fret of the um, A string. And then C sharp power chord. And then you stop doing power chords, you go to a D. And then you're your palm muting and then go. So, you know, muted, muted, and then, yeah, you're kind of raising your hand. I, I call me, I call my hand right here, and then when I need to do that, I'm raising my hand, and this happens in the pre-choruses, this one, and this one. Consider the 
pre-chorus, or I mean the, the the chorus, where he's saying around over and over. And so, yeah. Um, in the verse. So, in the verse. Either, you can either do this pattern, this intro riff again, while singing, or if you're not singing, really is what you'd optimally do. Um, but if you are singing, it's a lot easier to do this. I think he might be doing kind of not inversion. I'm not really sure what that is. And he's doing the pre chorus and uh, it looks like you're doing that a couple times. And yeah. And then there's this this outro thing, which is performed on a horn. Yeah, it's performed on like a trumpet. I have a trumpet. I could actually learn that. Um. So, um, that's uh, just using the second fret there on the G string. So and then after that, you're you're going from the second fret of the D string. Sounds a little better when you say it. 